what's up what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel how you all doing i hope you all are good today we are going to be talking about postcards on netflix a new nollywood movie that just came out yesterday but before i continue if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel or you are just seeing my youtube channel my name is Menke Bytofun i review analyze and talk about movies and tv shows don't also hesitate to click on notification bell to get notified whenever i post a video subscribe like and share thank you very much postcard is a very very interesting show first of all i love the the idea behind this this series i, I, I love the way the director made it so beautiful like the india and the nigeria culture it was so so beautiful i'm actually waiting for those stupid people that that are going to condemn this series i'm waiting for their stupid and anyhow criticism in this show because to be honest this show is worth watching it's brilliant it's hilarious it's funny it's emotional and it is also educative the the cast did well from toby bakery to rmd to solar soap Ali to rahamad who was her name and nancy all of them actually did well and raj the india guy from all the cast did pretty well in this show set in a cosmopolitan mobile and lagos Postcard follows the story of several characters whose lives intersect in a series of life-changing events. The story of four Nigerians living in India who struggle with questions of identity and acceptance. This is Aruja's second Nollywood Bollywood collaboration following the success of our 2021 Netflix original Namaste Wahala. In a statement, the director expressed her excitement about bringing the stories of podcasts to a global audience. The human stories of podcasts are quite relatable and cute with the different stories coming together in surprising ways. The different of the different characters bring different flavors of human beings and bring forth of family drama that is somewhat worshipable. The key players are Olomode with a romantic past couple Siddharth and Zainab Bull's happy marriage has found a roadblock, fun loving but lonely Aunt Bumi and lastly a son who wants to make it big in the dance scene, hear me? All of these characters find themselves in Mumbai for one reason or another and face different issues before they find themselves. The six 30 minute episodes are small, but the storyline was good and interesting. The cast did a great job in the acting, good dialogue, and fascinating plots. In the end, postcast end on a happy note, which is always a great thing. Overall, the series is interesting and entertaining to watch. If you haven't watched podcast, do well to watch it now on Netflix.